What is up disc golfers today on Iceberg TV we have a little bit different kind of video today. I want to question the power grip in disc golf, the backhand power grip. That is kind of what Ezra is doing here where you have all four fingers inside the rim here. And this is the go-to grip that is taught um, to most players. And when a lot of pro players teach new players how to throw, this is how they hold the disc. Now, this is what, again, a lot of people do, but the most elite distance throwers, the Simon Lazats, the Drew Gibsons, they actually don't use this grip. And when, I, when I've been throwing, I've been throwing with this grip, and I just am not understanding why I can't throw farther than I do. So I went out in the field and I started actually throwing other shots with a different grip. I tested a pinch grip and a fan grip, and in the field, I was surprising myself time and time again. And what inspired me to make this video and to go out in the field and to test this out was actually this backhand grip video from Overthrow Disc Golf. Um, I don't watch a ton of their videos, but this video was actually extremely helpful. He talked about, you know, how to actually do the pinch grip where you basically start your grip by pinching your pointer finger and your thumb together, and that's sort of the basis of a proper backhand grip. And if you look at Ezra here, his thumb, that's my biggest problem with the power grip is where do I put my thumb? My thumb never feels comfortable, but when you implement a pinch grip, you always know where your thumb and your pointer finger are supposed to be. Um, so that's the first thing. When I started doing just a pit like the pinch grip without even worrying about my other fingers I literally threw like 50 feet farther than my power grip like pretty much instantaneously and I started to look at how all of these guys that throw really far. How do they actually hold the disc? Again Simon Lazat when he breaks down backhand grip he will show a power grip But then he'll say but I don't do that. I typically will do this and he has his his pinches in here, the thumb and the pointer finger are sort of pressed into one another. And then the rest of these fingers are just sort of floating in there. It's really the pointer finger, the pinky and the thumb that are the main anchors to the contact with the disc. And you like if the full four finger power grip threw farther, then these power throwers would be doing it. But they do what works for them and what works for them is more of a modified fan grip type situation. What I was finding is, for some reason, when I implement this pinch, the thumb and the pointer finger, the disc is actually ripping out. If, like, I immediately noticed a difference where it literally hurt how hard the disc was ripping out of my hand. And when I implemented a, like, a full, like, a fan type grip with these fingers, plus the pinch, it was literally ripping out of my hand so hard that it almost hurt. And it was getting like 75 feet of, of additional distance. And the same thing applies to Drew Gibson. <clears throat> you can literally, Drew will be like, this is the grip that I use 98% of the time. It's a pointer finger, it's a pinky, his thumb is on there and in a spot that's comfortable for him. And then these two fingers are just floating there. If he could get more distance with four fingers, then he would do that. But this isn't the case. And that's why I don't think the power grip is should be the default grip that everybody's using because just because it's the power grip and the name power grip is very deceiving. I think they should just call it a four finger grip because I don't necessarily think it's more powerful. When I did a grip closer to what Drew and what Simon do, the disc was noticeably ripping out of my hand much faster than with a four, four finger grip. And I'm not exactly sure why that is, but there's a reason that people that throw really far hold the disc like this. And you can even look at Scott Stokely. Scott Stokely, I don't believe, has his pinky in when he throws, but very similar situation. He's got a pinch grip where he's pinching the thumb and the pointer finger. These two fingers are floating, and then the pinky, I believe he drops it off. Drew Gibson also drops off his pinky. And Scott Stokely, is a, he has been a distance world record holder in the past, and he still throws extremely far, and guess what? He does not power grip. I just think the power grip is taught to everybody because it's easy to teach. Don't put yourself in that box that just because that grip's called power grip, that means that you're gonna throw farther using that grip. 
go out in the field and try a pinch grip, try a fan grip, and it's going to feel awkward and it's not going to feel normal. But out in the field, I took my Ballista Pro and I was able to hyzer flip it when it's normally a disc that I have to smash on Anheuser to get it to actually hold any turn. I was able to hyzer flip that. I was able to hyzer flip my blunt nose Wraith instantly. I'm getting more torque on the disc and I can feel it instantaneously coming out of my hand much harder. None of these guys that throw far are doing that four finger power grip. And this video from Overthrow really made me want to go try it. So if you haven't checked that video out, go check it out. It was, it was a good video and I definitely threw farther after watching this video because I was always doing a power grip because it's the power grip, so it's the most powerful. Why would I want to do a less powerful grip? But when you start to really think about it and you start to pay attention to what's actually going on here, all these guys that throw far don't use the four finger grip. They use a pinch grip and they use a fan grip. And for whatever reason, I don't fully understand why, you can throw a, I, I personally am throwing the disc farther with a fan grip and with a pinch grip than I do with a power grip. And although this might work for as it's, this is the easiest grip to have consistent. So it's easy just to smash all four fingers in there and then find a comfortable spot for your thumb and throw. And that might work for Ezra, but it certainly wasn't working for me. Uh, my distance is capped at like 350, 375 backhand. And when I switched grips, I was getting more like 425 instantaneously. Um, so I'm really keen to do a full video about this and really go over which grip actually throws the farthest. But the whole point of this video is so you guys cannot put yourself in a box, go try different grips. Don't be you know, insecure about feeling weird about your throw. Go in the field, bring a stack of drivers and go try different grips and you will surprise yourself by what actually happens when you go and try new things and practice and try and improve your game to get better. But I just found this really interesting and I kind of want to debunk the power grip because I don't think that it's the most powerful grip for, you know, for everybody. And it's not the most powerful grip for me. It may not be the most powerful grip for you either. So go out in the field, watch this video, learn the pinch grip, look at Simon's fan grip, look at Drew's fan grip, try those grips. You might just surprise yourself. Go try Scott Stokely's grip. You might just surprise yourself. Disc golf is still a new sport and we have not perfected form, posture, and technique in any aspect of the game yet. We're getting closer, but we still don't know what works best. So go out in the field, find what works best for you. Comment down below what grip you like to use when you want to throw max distance. You're watching Iceberg TV and take care.